thank God for you this morning. I hope that you all have your crosses. Again, another question. 
Have you had anyone tell you uh, you need to change that attitude? Or get rid of that attitude as soon as possible? Having a bad attitude or a poor attitude, uh, it can really destroy relationships uh, and will hurt us in the long run. One writer, one writer, as I was researching, he said, the longer I live, he said, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. He said, he said attitude to him is more important than facts, than the past, than education. It's more important than money and circumstances. It's more important than failures, than success. Uh, it's more important than what other people think or say or do. Uh, it's, more, it's more important than appearances. Uh, it's more important than the gift of steel. Uh, for he said he had found out that attitude uh, will make or break a company. Uh, it'll break a church. Uh, it'll break a home. This is the remarkable thing is we have a choice every day regarding the attitude that we will embrace for that day. The only thing, only thing that we can do that day is play the hand that has been dealt to us for that day. And our attitude will determine if it's a winning hand or a losing hand. Palm Sunday today, Palm Sunday is a time for us uh, to examine our attitude toward each other uh, as well as toward God. Uh, in a way, in a way, Palm, Palm Sunday is about a huge parade uh, coming into town. Uh, but this one has only one Major float as its main attraction. Uh, let us this morning pause for a moment. Uh, let's see when and where our attitude shows up uh, as I go through this lesson. Uh, you see, at this time, this time Jesus had less than a week to leave. Uh, and he knows it good way. Uh, he has found it decided to make it known publicly uh, that he is the long-awaited Messiah, uh, that he is uh, that king that people have been waiting for uh, for hundreds of years. Uh, we read in the Old Testament uh, a prophecy about a king who would come into the city riding on a coat. Zechariah, Zechariah predicted that it would happen over 500 years uh, before Christ was born. Uh, but the time has finally come. Uh, and Jesus uh, is not ready to take the next step. Uh, so the question is, can he count on everybody cooperation? Uh, that's the question. Uh, he started uh, to get ready for his whole reason of being, uh, which was to obey God the Father. Uh, he, he calls his disciples uh, and he chooses two of them. Uh, let's look again. Let's look again at Luke. Uh, he tells them, go to the village ahead of you. Now as you enter it, you will find folk tied there which no one has ever written. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you why you are untying it, tell him the Lord needs it. Now, now, the word Lord here is the name for God, which is found in the Old Testament. So really, so Jesus is saying, tell them, uh, God 
is about to do something great with that coach. Now, here, here, Taylor, is the first opportunity for a check or attitude to uh, Just suppose, just suppose uh, you have been there as one of the disciples, uh, which you have gotten upset, uh, became envious that Jesus chose those two and not you. Somehow, miracle is going to take place with the coat. Uh, why, 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 why do they get to be the ones to go? Uh, how come I can't go? Uh, few things are as damaging to the body of Christ uh, than people having a bad attitude. Uh, the attitude of envy uh, causes us, uh, now you need to stick a pen in this, uh, uh, the attitude of the enemy calls us to say things about others uh, uh, that should never be said. Uh, uh, we forget uh, that we are called the body of Christ. Uh, and your call to worship, uh, it says, uh, our hearts rely on uh, So we wonder, uh, we are. We forget. Right? We divide ourselves with anger, with bitterness, and with lies. Right? He said, but, but let's try. Let's try. Right? To come back together again. And let's start with truth. Right? Let's confess our sins right? to God. Right? And also to others. Right? Uh, we need to understand that when you're talking about your sister and brother, uh -huh, that they like you a part of a body, huh? not interchangeable parts of Christ. Huh? Huh? Jesus does not treat us the same. Huh? I want that to soak in. Jesus huh? does not treat us all the same. Huh? Why, why, preacher? Why, preacher? Because he has different roles uh, and ministry for each of us to do. My calling may not be your calling. Your calling may not be someone else's calling. Uh, uh, but some of us will get upset. Uh, some of us will say that uh, if he was going to get them to, uh, uh, then, then he should have done it for all 12 of us. That would have been the way we failed. Uh, Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, we get upset uh, with others uh, over God call on their lives. Uh, when we do not understand what price they are paying to get where they are. Uh, sometimes God cannot use us in the spotlight uh, because we are unwilling to pay the price to get there. Uh, huh? Now here are these two disciples. Uh, they are going on the word of Jesus. Uh, as they are walking along, uh, uh, Reverend Cottrell, one of them probably said uh, to the other, how much money did Jesus give you for that coat? Huh? Uh, the other one looked back at him and said, what? Huh? I thought he gave you the money to pay for it. Taylor, uh, let me ask you this question. Huh? What is our attitude? When God calls us to do something, uh, but God does not give us anything to accomplish it with except His Word. We all know uh, it is God that told us to do it. Uh, uh, but He didn't give us nothing. What am I supposed to do? Uh, uh, suppose Jesus, uh, suppose Jesus had told you. Go to Bethlehem Mall, near the main entrance. Uh, there will be a brand new blue car with the keys in the side of it. Uh, uh, bring it back to me. Uh, if the security of the police asks you what you're doing in the car, uh, just tell them the Lord needs it. Uh, Talk 
comfortable about following Jesus' instructions. You see, we have times, huh? God will linger around us when God tells us to do something. Huh? You see, God can choose some of us because God knows we will not go through with the task. Huh? We start asking, is this going to work? How can I get this done? Huh? Where am I going to get the money? Huh? Huh? It's time to be that you got to choose huh? the attitude of faith. God told me to do this for a reason. Huh? Because God sent me. Huh? God will keep his word. Has he lied to him? Huh? Sure enough. Huh? Sure enough, the two disciples huh? find the quote. Exactly as Jesus has said. In the place where he told them it would be. They walk up to it, everything is going fine. They start to untie the coat. Uh, all of a sudden they hear this booming voice. Uh, hey, that's my animal. What you doing? Uh, what you doing untying the coat? All of a sudden, uh, you begin, uh, uh, you being surrounded. Uh, by some guys looking pretty angry. Right? Now, now, if it had been some of us, uh, we could have gotten a self-righteous attitude. Right? Uh, we went back, don't be accusing me, huh? Uh, of being a thief. Uh, I just made a mistake. Huh? I, I didn't know this was your animal, huh? You see, we can become so interested in how we look in the situation uh, that we forget what it was Jesus told us to do. Uh, Jesus did not tell them to defend themselves. Uh, he said if they ask you, you just tell them the Lord needs it. Uh, when, they, when, they, when they said the Lord needed it, uh, uh, they finally come to him. What? Look at me. Jesus said, tell them uh, the Lord needed it. Uh, the owner's attitude uh, immediately changed from anger and suspicion to cooperation. Uh, why? Because God had previously uh, spoken to their hearts uh, to bring out their prized possession. Uh, a beautiful coat uh, upon which no one has ever ridden. Uh, but God did not tell them how he was coming to get the coat. Uh, they may have been waiting for an angel from heaven to come and pick it up. Uh, they certainly was not expecting two ordinary looking men uh, who they mistook as thieves. Uh, why, preacher, what you saying? Well, uh, we need the right attitude, uh, even with strangers. Uh, because we never know when Jesus is right there in our midst. Uh, I believe the Bible says some have entertained angels unaware. Uh, but when the owner, when the owner, when the owner heard the words, uh, the Lord needed, uh, they were eager to let it go. Uh, according to Matthew's gospel, uh, not only did the owner send the coat, uh, but he sent his mama along with him. Uh, 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 so the disciples take both animals back to Jesus. Uh, God knows how spoken to their hearts. Uh, some time ago, huh? Told them, that coat, that coat, huh? Don't ever ride in that coat, huh? huh? Because I have need of it, huh? Sometimes God tells us huh? to hold on to something, huh? huh? That we might want to use for ourselves, huh? But God said, nah, nah, don't you hold on to
Indiana a city in peace. The horse of the stallion was used by a king when he entered the city as a conqueror. The donkey, the donkey was also an animal of service, used to carry the burdens and the loads of people. So Jesus is prepared to come into the city, fulfilling the prophecy in Scripture, and presenting himself as a king of peace, ready, ready to carry the burdens of others. Let me ask you a question. Anybody here know that Jesus will not only carry your burdens? Anybody here? I, I ain't heard nobody. I ain't heard nobody. Let me ask you again. Uh, does anybody here know uh, that Jesus will carry your burdens? Uh, and not only, not, not only that, huh? He won't only carry your burdens, huh? But he will carry what? You, huh? He will carry you when you are unable to carry yourself. When the two disciples returned with the coat and the donkey, they placed their coats and garments upon the young coat to serve as a saddle for Jesus. I'll tell you what, the parade is about to start. So far, it consists of a large number of people who have recently seen the miracles Jesus has done. So it says, raising Lazarus from the dead uh, and healing blind Bartimaeus. Uh, there were people from everywhere, uh, from Galilee, uh, other parts of the country, uh, on their way to Jerusalem for the feast. Uh, there were the disciples there themselves, uh, along with Jesus, uh, a donkey uh, and a coat. Uh, as the parade begins, uh, different attitudes uh, start to reveal themselves. Uh, the first attitude uh, was those uh, who wanted to immediately offer Jesus uh, the best that they had. Uh, what's the meaning, preacher? Well, well, they took off their coats, huh? they clothed them, huh? and began to lay it down. Huh? and create a pathway like a red heart God, for the animal to walk on. Huh? They were not concerned huh, that their clothes might not be reusable huh, or that they would not be able to get them back. Huh? Their focus was on going all out huh, to honor Jesus Christ. Huh? Taylor, uh, oh Taylor, uh, is this your attitude huh, when it comes to serving God? Huh? Can you count and give me all the power me huh, to give whatever I have huh, without thinking about it? Huh? This was the group huh, that gave above and beyond what was expected. Huh? This is what the, the world called crazy folks, uh, uh, nuts. Huh? Uh, these were the nuts in the crowd huh, who said we will never underestimate time. Huh, the spirit of the Lord. Uh, then, then, there was another group uh, with another attitude uh, at the parade that day. Uh, it's the attitude of giving something good, uh, even if it's not the best they could eat. Uh, they kept the coats and cold, uh, but they were willing uh, to go uh, cut down palm branches uh, and lay them down uh, as a mean of honoring and respecting Jesus. Uh, they were in the parade and they were looking pretty good. Uh, uh. Then, there were those that uh, uh, were there. Uh, they never actually became a part of the parade. Uh, they just sort of stood alongside the road. Uh, they cheered a little bit. Uh, uh, they were willing to take notice of Jesus. Uh, and even a few of them maybe gave a little hand clap. Huh? But really, they were too concerned huh, with other things huh, to actually get involved. Huh? You see, as soon as Jesus passed by, huh, they went on about their business as people do huh, once the parade is gone. Huh? Huh? But these are the people. Huh? These are the people who claim to 
know Jesus, huh? But not commit uh, to any church, huh? Nor do they seek to live the life God has called them to be, huh? Their attitude is well, huh? The Lord knows my heart, huh? And I start out of that story this morning. The Lord does know your heart, huh? And what God has to say about our heart, huh? How much you really have you running, huh? To give our lives to Jesus, huh? As Jesus ran into the city, God, you see Jerusalem, it has heels all around it, God. And if you were on the right heel, uh, you could easily see Jesus uh, riding in on the donkey, God. They got to decide, huh? They got to decide how close uh, they wanted to get to Jesus uh, then. Uh, well, uh, just like you, huh? Huh? You can decide today, huh? How close huh? you want to get to Jesus, huh? Huh? I, I, I better turn, I better turn. I, I, I need you in about three or four more uh, 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 on my side over here, huh? If you're not, and you're able, can you get me three more? Uh, now, let me four, huh? I'll make five. Uh, and uh, can you get on the set? Uh, uh, I want to be so close that I, 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 I want to see that Jesus speak, huh? Oh, sister, uh, they begin to shout, they begin to holler at 
Jesus. Uh, they told Jesus, uh, tell this crowd to shut up. Uh, tell them to stop praising you. Uh, Jesus just looked at them uh, and spoke these words. Uh, he said, I tell you, uh, if there was silence, uh, the rocks, uh, uh, the rocks, uh, uh, the rocks would cry. Well, 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 tell you, uh, have you ever wanted, uh, have, you, have you ever thought, what would a stone have said? Huh? 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 First thing, stone talking <laughs> would be a miracle in itself. Oh, yeah. huh? but, 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 just for a moment, huh? believe that they'll ever speak. Huh? And maybe they will say something like this. Uh, uh, Jesus, huh? the rock of ages. Huh? Jesus, uh, my creator, uh, is among us. Uh, so Jesus, uh, thank you uh, for the opportunity uh, to praise your holy name. Uh, that's why uh, when we come to service, uh, our attitude uh, should be one of praise. Isn't that right? Uh, Oh, my God. 